Okay, be honest now. Of all the shows that could have been rebooted, who had iCarly on their bingo cards? So about a year ago, I made a video on iCarly, and I thought it was interesting how a show from 2007 actually captured the online video influencer idea rather accurately. And somehow, 14 years later, we have the 2021 iCarly reboot on the hot new streaming service everyone's talking about, and by everyone I mean literally no one, Paramount+. Plus. And of course, as is my cross to bear, I figured I should probably check it out. So, let's take a walk. But before that, really quick, this video was brought to you by Dashlane. If you're like me, in which case, <laughs> That's rough. You probably find yourself using the same password over and over again for different things, right? But of course, if one password gets hacked, before you know it, all your personal information's been stolen, and someone's using your credit card to buy 150 copies of Ham Taro Ham Ham Heartbreak. Being someone who uses the internet for pretty much everything, it's invaluable to have that extra level of security that Dashlane can give you. Dashlane is a one-stop shop for your digital identity. It manages all your passwords, personal info, financials, whatever you need, making your life safe and more secure. It works across all devices, including Apple products, PCs, Android, Safari, and Chrome. It also has a secure autofill feature that works for personal information, credit cards, that type of thing. It comes with a VPN to stop people from tracking you, and they even check if your personal information is being sold on the dark web. So to try Dashlane for free for life on your first device, go to dashlane.com slash Alex Myers, and you can use my promo code Alex Myers to get 25% off if you decide to upgrade to the premium version. So the link is down below, and once again, thank you Dashlane for sponsoring this video. Okay, back to the show. What are you doing here? Setting up for a romantic evening with my boyfriend. I would have done it at my place, but... Rich people have such nice lighting. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm the rich person with the nice lighting that owns this apartment. Okay, so like I get that they're trying to capture the feel of the original show and all that. And I don't know if it's just me. Watching a show nowadays with a laugh track is just so weird. Also, I love how they have to establish that her brother has suddenly just become rich. Hey, so uh, how can this guy who makes robots out of plastic bottles for a living afford to live in a three-story condo with an elevator in Seattle? Uh, you know. He's rich now? Oh, well, shoot, why didn't you say so in the first place? Problem solved, no further questions. Don't look at this. <laughs> what is that giant gold monstrosity? It's a gift I made for you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, is that Freddy? How does he still look almost exactly the same? I mean, this dude looks like two of himself in a trench coat trying to buy tickets to an R-rated movie. Like, he looks 12, but also 42 at the same time. Like, here he looks like an 8th grader on Disney Channel, and then over here he looks like an 8th grader on Riverdale. Anyway, so Carly's been doing all sorts of things between her streaming channel, going to Italy as per the iCarly series finale, and now she's come back to her old iCarly channel with her boyfriend, Bo. You know, it's really cute how the people who are making this show seem to think that you can just stop uploading anything for years and your entire audience will still be there for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm in a prison of my own creation. Anyway, so the aforementioned Bo comes over and Carly wants to ask him to make a new collab channel with her, which as everyone knows is one of those monumentally important relationship milestones. And of course, to exploit her relationship for content, she live streams the whole thing. Carly, we do a lot of things together. I know. It's so great. We date. We share a Spotify account. You came with me to the podiatrist. I just get you. So I think it's only natural we'd start need a channel some time together. Apart. Why? We gotta get the ball. You came with me to the podiatrist. Well, yeah, but that's just because your podiatrist is next to the good dumpling place. Okay, I'm sorry, but just hold on a second here. Carly's like 28 or whatever, right? So what's up with this dude looking like he's 17? Carly's like this fresh-faced millennial who's all like, I traveled the world and now I'm back home trying to find my place in it. And then this dude's just over here like, uh, so which K-pop singer do you wish was your JoJo stand? But all the same, as we just witnessed, Bo breaks up with Carly out of the blue because boys are suck dumb. And this brings us to one month later where Carly has a new roommate, Harper, and she's just trying to put her life together and pick up the pieces. <sighs> Is it that time of day where you drag your depression down the hall from Spencer's apartment to ours? <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm dragging all kinds of things around today. <laughs> Let's see, we got emotional trauma from being labeled a gifted child, uh, miscellaneous general depression, memories of that time I farted in gym class in seventh grade. I mean, where do I even start? He's getting ready for a sculpture premiere party. We're going to that party. You don't even like Spencer. Yes, I do. Why am I lying? The man is a ding dong. But I do find the dumber the man, the better the party. For you, parties are a never ending buffet of people who want to sleep with you. Cute guys, hot girls, 
ridiculously gorgeous non-binary lawyers who get your name tattooed on their thigh? <laughs> that only happened twice. You know, this show went from like zany Nickelodeon antics to edgy adult CW wannabe in like five seconds. But anyway, that night is Carly's brother's artist party where you know there's just gonna be like the worst people. Now at this party, we get a little backstory about what's been going on with Freddie and Carly's brother over the many years since we last saw them. You're the guy who made the Marshmallow White House sculpture. The way that it was half melted to reflect our disintegrating democracy. Ugh, it was an accident. I left it next to my cell phone, which broke out into a spontaneous fire. Now I own a falcon named Jericho. I clearly did it all wrong. Pursued my dreams, married for love, two divorces and a failed startup later, I'm back living with my mom. And also in case that wasn't enough, Freddy also has an adopted stepdaughter named Jaden, who in the only part of the show that's believable is also trying to be a YouTuber herself. Hi Carly, how's retirement? I'm not retired. You haven't posted for a month in internet years? That's a decade. Your channel has two subscribers. I know, I'm one of them. <laughs> Ugh, now people are gonna think my channel is for olds. Oh yeah, sure, mm -hmm. oh boy, can't wait to see your genius content. My room is haunted, not clickbait Fortnite giveaway Robux. Anyway, so because Carly's not feeling so great after her boyfriend who looks like he does kissing pranks on TikTok broke up with her, she goes to this party thing for five minutes and then starts to leave, but right then, you'll never guess what happens. Carly? Carly Shea from Camp Lakehorn? Luke? Luke Tyler, also from Camp Lakehorn. Are you leaving? No, I'm just holding the door for your girlfriend. I'm single. So they get to talking about life and family and all that kind of stuff. And let's just say Carly's starting to feel a little uh, tingle down the jingle, you know what I'm saying? Luke, I don't normally do this on the first night, but should we go somewhere a little more comfortable? <laughs> I hope you still respect me after this. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, this show's really dumb, but sometimes it's it's just dumb enough. You know what I mean? And so just like that, now Carly's back to her old self. Carly, is that you? You're normally catatonic until noon when you gather enough energy to cry. Oh, my noon cry is just my pretty cry. Nah, nah, nah. You see, I get all my ugly cries out way before that. And so because Carly's doing so well after meeting a new guy, like, yesterday, she invites her ex over to this brunch thing to rub it in his face. I'm sorry, is this some, like, weird Seattle thing? I wanted you to hear it from me first. I'm seeing someone. Good for you, Bo. And uh, we're doing a new channel together. I'm dating someone too. <laughs> this is his face. That's awesome. It is. And we're starting a channel together too. Sure, sure. When are you gonna drop your first video? <laughs> This is the dumbest conversation. You know, I don't really have any like YouTuber friends per se, but like, is this how y'all talk to each other? Cause clearly I am just way too old for this nonsense. But all the same, now Carly has to convince Luke to start a YouTube channel with her just so she can get back at her ex who she's definitely gotten over and is certainly not thinking about constantly. So she goes out to this fancy restaurant with Luke to lay out her plan for the YouTube collab channel. <laughs> how is this a real show? Love this place. Just a heads up, they only serve whey here. Like whey protein? That you put in a smoothie? No, like the watery part of milk that remains after the formation of curds? Divine mouthfeel. <laughs> okay, I was joking before, but this is the most Seattle thing I've ever heard. I don't know what it is, but in places like San Francisco and Seattle or whatever, like they're always opening new restaurants where the plates are like old shoes and the food's all made out of like reptilian breast milk or something. And of course, no tables because obviously you gotta eat it while scuba diving. But all the same, as the night progresses, turns out, would you believe, Luke is, uh, is a different kind of dude. So I have something really exciting mm, to tell mm, you. Mmm, classic Seattle tap. That slightly unctuous texture? So, the thing I was gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah, so the whole Luke idea didn't really go anywhere because who would ever want to watch some guy talk about stuff like drinking water or eating Pringles or like those weird men in their 30s who watch Disney Channel movies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so Carly decides that she doesn't need a partner to do why Carly anymore, she can just do it herself. Along with the ever unemployed Freddie, his stepdaughter, Spencer, and now Harper. This is still iCarly, but it's grown up now. So today I thought I'd share my skincare routine. According to the many, many targeted ads I get, it's never too early to start using anti-aging products. <laughs> Even for baby Spencer. Yeah! 
Okay, this show just went from like 2007 Nickelodeon to 2019 CW, and that was just my 4 a.m. sleep paralysis demon. And so, just like that, Carly's back making iCarly, just how we all remember it. While, of course, trying to handle adult problems like finding a boyfriend and dealing with the crushing feelings of her own encroaching mortality. I actually panic bought it when I was at a 7 Eleven and the guy there called me ma'am. They say that by the time you need skincare, it's already too late. But you should still spend all your money on it. And in the end, it's just an expensive reminder. We're all gonna die someday. Just the kind of escapism entertainment I've been looking for. Yeah, so this show is clearly banking on our nostalgia and, like, nothing else. Because it doesn't really seem like there's much more than that there, to be honest. Hey, guess what? I have a new Spanish channel that just started up recently. What we're doing is we're completely localizing my videos into Spanish with professional voice actors and all that. So check it out, subscribe, all that good stuff. Okay, back to the show. Now, obviously, you know, nostalgic reboots and, and reimaginings is like nothing new. I mean, that's been going on for a long, long, long time. I do think it's weird. I don't know. Like, iCarly just seems like such a random show to do? I don't know, like, I, I don't know how this idea came about, like, like, on paper, I guess I can see how it maybe it sounds like a good idea, but, like, watching the, the first couple episodes, I don't know, I was just like, do we really need this? Like, was this really necessary? Because it's just, I mean, like I said in the video, they're, they're trying to capture the old, like, late 2000s iCarly zany antics, but also combined with this, like, weird, like, edgy millennial type stuff, which, which is fine, like, like, both of those ideas are fine, but trying to put them in the same show just seems really weird, because it's like, I get that people my age and a little younger are very nostalgic for this show, but, like, I don't know, that was like a time and a place, and the world is like really different now, and everything is, <laughs> everything is completely different now. I don't know, it's like someone had half an idea for a show, and then they just kind of ran with it without really thinking about what they're going to do, which I'm sure that's not the case, but it just feels that way. It's like it's trying to be three different shows at once or something, and it's not really doing any of them particularly well. Like, I don't know, if they did, if they did the whole like Girl Meets World thing where it was like iCarly, and then like... I don't know, like, her daughter's trying to be a YouTuber? Like, maybe that would make a little more sense, but, like, I don't know, man. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. What videos or TV shows or movies or whatever I should do next, send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com. I have a game on the App Store. It's like a match three type thing. Check that out. I have a podcast. It's called Doing the Devil's Tango. Check that out. And above all else, everybody, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.